In this video I'll be showing you how to make a mincemeat frangipan tart. This is a great alternative to the classic mince pie served at Christmas and can also be used as an alternative idea for a dessert. In preparation for making frangipan tarts you will require some sweet pastry shells. There's a brief time lapse of the recipe here but for the full recipe please check out the video on the channel. If you are new around here and like to see more cooking and baking then start right now by subscribing and turning on the notifications bell. The minced meat used in the tart is actually a sweet variant not to be confused with minced or ground beef. It's actually a mixture of chopped fruit, spirits and spices and contains beef suet although there are vegetarian alternatives available. You can make your own minced meat although for this recipe I have used a store bought version. Begin by placing the mincemeat into the tart shells approximately three quarters of the way up to the tart shells and then spread out that the mixture is evenly across the entire shell itself. Don't forget to never miss a future upload, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. For the topping I'm using a classic frangipan. Frangipan is a classic almond based filling that's very light, fluffy and buttery and for this particular recipe I have used double the amount that's stipulated on screen. The recipe does call for a vanilla pod, if you do not have a vanilla pod I recommend using a vanilla bean paste. It keeps better and will give you much more value for money than buying vanilla pods themselves. Cream the butter, vanilla and sugar into a smooth paste. Beat the egg and fold in well. Add the remaining dry ingredients, the almonds, flour, lemon zest and mix well before taking a flexible spatula to ensure the mix is fully combined. Transfer the mixture to a piping bag, you do not require a piping nozzle for this purpose. Trim the end off the piping bag and then pipe the frangipan into the shells. Once the mixture has been piped in, take a pallet knife and smooth off ensuring that all edges of the shells come into contact with the frangipan. When smoothing out the French pan, if you've been a little heavy handed like I have on some of the tarts, ensure that when you're spreading it out with the palette knife, you remove a slight thin layer off some of them to ensure that you have even layers of frangipan across all of your tarts. If you are enjoying this video and would like to see more cooking and baking, then start right now by subscribing and turning on the notifications bell. Once your frangipan has been spread nice and evenly, cover the top with flaked almonds, ensuring that the almonds are evenly spread out across the top. Bake in a preheated oven on 160 degrees Celsius for approximately 35 to 40 minutes until the tarts are golden across the top. This may take slightly longer than some other frangipan recipes due to the amount of moisture contained within the mincemeat. Once the tarts have cooled sufficiently enough to be able to handle them, remove the tart from the tart shell, they should come away freely, and then transfer it to a wire cooling rack to cool down completely. If you want to add a little extra festive garnish to your tarts, you can also choose to dust them with a little bit of icing sugar. Now comes the best part, digging in and eating them. You can eat them on their own as an accompaniment to something like a cup of coffee, or if you choose to serve it as a dessert, you could also serve it with some brandy sauce or custard. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'd like to have a go at making your own frangipan mince pies. If you have enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up, share and to see more cooking and baking why not consider subscribing and turning on the notifications bell and why not check out one of the recipes on screen now and I'll see you in the next video.